I got all my jobs to 90, so let's go over the funnest job to play in Final Fantasy XIV. We'll be basing this off visuals, playstyles, and just overall silliness. Disclaimer, this is a completely uneducational video. First off, tanks, paladin, warrior, dark knight, and gunbreaker. First off, gunbreaker, you're off the list because if I wanted to DPS, then I would go with the DPS job. Love you, my dude, but you're kind of boring. Paladin is gone. I got over my hero complex in real life, and I'm not trying to relive it in Final Fantasy XIV. Yes, your new level 90 abilities are super visually appealing, but your 1 through 89, not so much fun. Dark Knight, a very, very sad bun bun and needs lots and lots of therapy. And even that might not be enough. That leaves the winner, Warrior. Oonga Boonga playstyle? I feel like Xena Warrior Princess with this job. And me, man, I like big axe. The only annoying thing is if we can find a way to turn off that gosh dang aura that you have every single time you have Beast Gage. Next up, Healers, White Mage, Scholar, Astro, and Sage. Sage, I freaking adore you but because you're so op i don't really get to use all your abilities because they're really not needed so unfortunately you're off this list white mage oh holier than thou job that throws rocks at people you were kind of great starting off and your wings are really really cool af but that's about all you got you can glare at me all you want astro now i know what you're gonna say we all love our Yu-Gi-Oh childhood to be relived by playing astro and calling upon the stars for our fellow sailor scouts but your card system's kind of whack and i've been playing you all all through Shadowbringer, so you've kind of lost interest to in me. Also, your artifact gear bell bottoms are absolutely atrocious. Ding, 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 we got a winner, Scholar. Now, it may be because I'm a fairy myself, but Scholar's fairy, along with your military style glamour, just kind of hits the nail on the head for me. Like, get a bun bun who can do both, right? Hands down, the funnest healer job to play. Melee, monk, ninja, dragoon, samurai, and reaper. Now, I actually really hate playing these jobs regularly, but play style and role playing wise, these are some of the funnest jobs to play. I easily get the most satisfaction out of playing this role for role playing. First to go though is Dragoon Daddy. I love you and you got hops, but your big dragon isn't enough to keep you around. Monk, this has abusive relationship written all over it. You're not very appealing with your 9 GCD combo and your visuals aren't that great either other than your Chung Li AOE rotation, but unfortunately that's about it. Now Reaper, I know that you're new here and your visuals are kind of on point, but you're just not enough to fill that void that I have in my heart. Also, you're really just an Angie botanist. Samurai. Now this was kind of a tie because I actually really love Samurai, but gosh dang that button blow. Holy crap, if you're a controller player, just stay away from Samurai because it's not the funnest to play on controller. But I will say it's ranked up on this list because the glamours mixed with that big sword, oh my gosh, you will be role playing to your heart's content. Throw a blindfold on that glamour, oof. The winner is Ninja. I am a Hokage, and no one can tell me otherwise. By far the funnest job to play, I can Raiton and Kaiton and Doton, all these enemies and add. Visuals, visuals, 10 out of 10. Gameplay, 10 out of 10. Ninja glamours and saving the leaf village, 10 out of 10. Casters, black mage, red mage, summoner, blue mage, question mark. My main squeeze, black mage. I love you dearly. But unfortunately, you don't win here. You might be scathing, but I'm just kind of tired of your umbral ice and astral fire phase. I need a little longer than 15 seconds. Summoner, your summons are really cool now, but your playstyle and your rotations make me want to stab my eyes out. The almighty red mage. Yes, you might want to check the veracity of these statements. But you are white mage and black mage's love child, and I kind of love that for you. You let me cast ver raise, ver heal, ver attack, ver fire, ver arrow, ver thunder, ver pay my taxes, and ver walk my dog. I love my red mage, and you are the ultimate side piece for all of that extracurricular content. Blue Mage, you obviously are amazing, but we can't play you in real life, unfortunately. You're only a limited job, so you don't really rank. Range. Bard, Dancer, and Machinist. Bard, 
You're the winner hands down. No need to talk about anyone else. No one can contend with you because you shoot a bow and arrow. And my little RPG child inside that grew up playing games and starting with bows and arrows and an archer puts you above all else every single time. Now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this completely uneducational, unhelpful, and slightly comical video. I just got all my jobs to 90 and I really couldn't be happier. Thank you for watching. And if you want to watch actual educational tutorials, guides, and more, then you can find all of those here.